Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Aquarius. Oh yeah. <laughs> so let's find out what your sun sign is, Aquarius. Let's see what we have that comes out for you. Wow, purification. So maybe I need to purify some energy here. Let's see what else this may indicate. Ah, this will bring in your fulfillment. So perhaps you need to sage or, hmm, let's see what else we get here. Oh, this is going to open the gateway here. So Aquarius, it's important for you to perhaps have um, a salt bath and clear away any energy to purify, maybe have more of a pure heart if you haven't been in that already. And let's get a tarot card with this. For Aquarius, please, the sun sign. What do we need to know with this? Oh, this has love that will be bringing in your fulfillment here. This is a love in your heart, that purification, that love is the highest frequency there is. So this may also have to do with a love coming in as part of your fulfillment. So, wow, that's beautiful. Let's look at your emotions. This may be all the things that you're looking at that you want for yourself. This is yourself, your sun sign. So I feel like by doing these things, this is going to open this gateway for this fulfillment to come in. Let's see how you're feeling here with your emotions, your moon sign here. Let's pull one out. Aha. Work through your fears, ha! <laughs> New moon in Scorpio, okay. So between now and Scorpio season, let's see here, Aquarius. Let's get one more. Surrender to the divine full moon. So perhaps between now and the full moon, um, I'm not even sure what day it is today. It's the 6th. So yesterday was the new moon. I believe it was. No, it was the it was the um full moon. So between now and the new moon coming up, I'm kind of feeling that you need to surrender to the divine. A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon, in Cancer. So perhaps this may end up happening in Cancer season, which is, um, I believe, June, July. Yeah. No, July, August, sorry. My apologies. <laughs> All right. Let's get a tarot card with that as well. Aha. Uh -huh. You have a little bit of uh, apprehension about this, some anxiety perhaps, possibly about stepping out into your comfort zone. And all that means is really to not listen to that inner critic, uh, your voice that comes in that is a negative voice and stepping out of that critic, critical voice and having that positive mindset may be all that means for you um, to step out of your comfort zone, not listening to any negativity, whether it's from yourself or anyone else for that matter, okay? So stepping out of that comfort zone, there's nothing to fear here. It is all about talking positive to yourself and your inner self, okay? That inner voice. So let's get one more with that. Yeah, see, it's going to make you more, um, with the Queen of Pentacles, that's going to be more resourceful, uh, financial success, material success, okay? That's that high energy of working towards what you want. This is going to bring in what you're looking for and your emotions. You're going to feel confident about yourself, that business sense, that authoritarian um making money. I, I feel like that's going to help you with whatever fulfillment you're looking for. It may be uh, material wealth, it could be love, it could be both. Let's look at your sun sign here. You're rising, I mean, sorry. <laughs> you're
your rising sign let's have a look the ancient grandmother so you do have somebody that is an ancestor here that may have passed away that it may have been from generations prior to the one you're at now I keep seeing three five four three four five consecutive um, numbers so four five six seven eight nine that kind of number sequence where um, it might even be three five six or three four six um, but it's always a consecutive moving forward like an ascending type of number it's not going down it's all going up if, even if it's zero one two or one two three it's all going in a positive direction to a higher number so I'm, I'm kind of feeling like taking notice of any in, um, numbers that are synchronicities they're going to tell you something and I feel like looking up these numbers in your angel um, in the angel numbers on Google you will find messages that are directed especially for you so I am looking up mine and I am finding that things are evolving for me and the questions that I ask are actually being answered in these angel messages so one might be a number you need to look at because I have the number one here with the ancient grandmother okay so there's definitely a message I am the teacher that leads with self-knowledge and that might be your message here Aquarius that you need to look within for your own self-knowledge instead of maybe looking at others to tell you what you should do with your own life look within with your own true hearts desires here let's have a look with another card the storyteller intention I am the narrator of my own story I can't make this up this is the message here that you need to listen to your own heart and what your own heart is telling you do not be influenced by other people around you for they may be trying to put you down a different path that they want to see you go down instead of what you truly want for yourself so let's look at the bottom of the deck the goddess of balance equality I create and foster reciprocal relationships so this is to tell you Aquarius that whatever path spirit wants you to go down is the one that's going to lead you to a partner that is going to have your back that is going to be committed to you that is going to be loyal and your true friend somebody that is deemed worthy of you I feel Aquarius this is huge now whether you are masculine or feminine it does not matter even if it's a woman coming up in as a queen of Pentacles that does not matter you could still be a masculine it's saying that your material su success is coming in you're being practical and reliable you're nurturing your own self and what you're looking for and even if you have some um, negativity coming in to your spirit it's saying to stop listening to that negative Im, um, messages that are coming in that are in your head or from other people go within yourself and look at the positivity go towards what you're looking for and what you're wanting be in that positive mindset that you are going to get exactly what you're looking for that gateway will open okay so this God of balance this is going to bring you inner peace this is going to bring you exactly what you're looking for you are your own storyteller you are a manifester you can manifest exactly what you would like to come in for yourself I feel like with whoever you come into contact with this love this pure love I feel like this is going to be your person that is going to help you manifest exactly what you're looking for may even teach you how to manifest may even teach you all about quality equality and give and take having your own life them having their own life and still coming together as a couple to share your life 
and being on the same team is so important and not having that resentment or um, competition within you or that one is better than the other. It is all about that balance, okay? So let's get a tarot card here. Wow, I'm really feeling connected here. Okay, wow, yes. Now, you, you may be somebody that is emotionally balanced, generous and compassion. You may even be very sensitive and understanding. And you may have made someone else cry or someone has made you cry. Now take it however it resonates for you. But whatever this is, I feel like they may have already, you, I'm feeling more you may feel like you already lost this person or this person may not take you in or you may not feel good enough for this per person. And I do not feel like that was the whole reason they may have walked away. Maybe it was you that walked away. This person may not have been ready at the time. Perhaps they needed to still grow a bit. Maybe need go through some traumatic things that may have happened to them to unload some baggage here. I feel like this is something that is um, possibly pouring out those cups because there was some kind of misunderstanding here. I feel like this may have been that somebody felt that you were not ready for them or vice versa. Take it however that resonates for you. So let us see here. I still feel like, let's get one more card here and see what comes up for Aquarius. Yes, wanting to repair this, I feel, with the Three of Pentacles, be that team player. I feel like this is wanting um, to feel like they're not gonna ha um, miss out, or they just wanna have that team player, that team, team feeling. And I feel like there may have been some type of miscommunication here that made somebody cry. Maybe somebody was ghosted due to negative um, information. Maybe somebody lied about your person to make it so you did not go towards them. Let's have a look at your luck here. What is your luck saying here, your Jupiter? What is your Jupiter sign? Ah, the thinking woman. Now this is number 11. This is Ascended Masters. This is somebody that is being guided. This woman, whoever is thinking, whether that is you or your person, I feel like they are gaining knowledge on something. Perhaps they were being too hasty about not coming together with you. But I feel like it was because they knew what they wanted and they felt perhaps maybe you didn't know what you wanted. It may be the other way around, so take it how it resonates. It could be them that didn't know what they wanted, or it could be you. So take that however that resonates for you. Let's get one more card. Yes, this is about speaking some truth with the with the throat chakra, this is the fifth chakra, okay? This is Archangel Gabriel. And with the throat chakra, this is about speaking clearly. Um, this could be speaking clearly to spirit. This may be a gift that you may have. This may be a person that has this gift. But there is some type of confidence in speaking here. This may even be clear audience, or clear audience, I should say. Um, hearing spirit's voice um, and it may be spirit's voice it could be a passed over loved one it could be um, a long forsaken ancestor that's passed on generations prior to that maybe you didn't even know but you will get messages and you will hear them clearly it's whether you believe and have faith in those messages that you follow them um, with unwavering faith that you believe in spirit and what spirit's telling them or you. Now this is number 12 
and 11. So this is another sequence that is going up. So 11 and 12 here. So, and 12 breaks down to three. And with that three, we're looking at groups, growth, and creativity. So this may have something to do with some type of growth here. Let's look at the bottom of the deck here. Wow, goddess of the moon, number seven. So this is reflecting, um, and in the picture, you can actually see with under the words here, the reflection of the moon and the goddess. Um, I feel like you're reflecting on some things here. Maybe you were a bit hasty in walking away from this person. Maybe you're looking back on things and reflecting and assessing what you know of this person. Maybe you're looking at spirituality or spirit to guide you. With the goddess of the moon, the moon is beautiful. The moon is all about, I feel like, hmm, how do I put that? Um, this is all about compassion. This is about things that are surfacing, right? This is all about inner conflict. That inner conflict is coming in and listening to that inner voice that is negative, okay? This is about hushing that voice and listening to your true desires and not so much the negative anything, um, whether it's advice or what you're telling yourself here. Yeah, this is some way of trickery here with the Seven of Swords. This is to get you not to go down the right path. I feel like somebody may be trying to hold you back from going to where you're meant to go. This may be a warning or a message for you that you are maybe going down the right path the wrong path and you're needing to correct that to go down the correct path here yeah that temperance and healing needing to heal that past baggage needing to walk away uh, i feel from certain people and heal some inner talk that you have that feeling of not being good enough okay that has got to stop you are good enough you are lovable and you deserve to be loved just like anyone here okay and with temperance this is kind of about your harmony and, and peace you're being grounded in your life purpose this is all about healing and I kind of feel like that adventure there's an adventure you're going to go on once you get down the right path healing these negative or destructive whatever it is in your life whether it's a person that's talking negative about where you're meant to be going or whether it's you talking to yourself negatively so let's look at your relationships your palace here your palace for aquarius what's the palace for aquarius Let's look here. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Perhaps you or this person have been um, a bit stubborn about this. Yes, getting to know each other all over again, I feel. And I feel like this has never had a chance to come in for you. I feel like you've either walked away because of what others have said, or you have thought this on yourself that you are not worthy of this person but you need to give yourself a break and really go in and look at <laughs> bottom of the deck wedding this situation involves marriage so looking inward towards yourself your behavior or how you think about this person and how others are projecting things onto you about this person perhaps Take it however it resonates for you. Yes, look at You are being asked to bring in an offer here. A cup. A love offer. This is the Knight of Cups. This is someone that has heartfelt romance for this person who is charming and is that beautiful soul within this offer or proposal. You love the idea of this love. 
They love this idea of this love. This is all about offers and proposals here. And this wedding behind it confirms that. Let's get another one. You may even be having a hard time sleeping about because spirit is bringing this person's image in for you or you are always thinking about this person or you may be doing something within the day and something will spark a memory of this person you will always be getting a memory of this person might even be keeping you up at night you might be getting um, dreams or some kind of image Maybe you dream about this person all the time. You may even daydream about this person. So let's look at your love, your Venus here. What is it telling us about Aquarius's love, Venus? <laughs> yes, it's all about you not feeling you are enough. I feel like you are feeling like if you come forward, you're frustrated. You may have even self-sabotaged. You might be very jealous about um, how this person has a lot of suitors, perhaps, or that they could get anyone they want. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is a twin flame. Look at that. Twin flame union. Okay, so this really makes more sense to me now that this is something that you are not able to walk away from. This is someone that you have been on and off with perhaps just as friends. It could be love, um, it could be lovers, it could be more than that. But yeah, Katie's on a ring. You may have come across like you only wanted one night stand with this person. And this may be why they may walk away or want to walk away from you. You may not have made it solid. It may have been uh, well, um, that feeling of you're not going to stick around, you're going to ghost me, so I am not going with you because even though I have a strong pull towards you and we've never had that matchup of actually connecting on a on a soul level where we aren't with somebody else or married or something along those lines that there's been always something that's been in the way of this union and it really stems on you not feeling like you were enough Aquarius this way that you come across this this has to change, I feel, or this person may see you as just a friend or want to friend zone you because they feel that you just want to get in their pants uh, or vice versa, take it however it resonates for you. It may not be you wanting to get in their pants, it may be them wanting to get in yours. But whatever it is, this dynamic or behavior, something's going to even out here. Let's see what we get for a tarot card yes this person you or this person is watching their social media or your social media there is somebody that is keeping an eye on this twin flame union whether it is you or your person <laughs> now somebody here it did come up in the reverse and I'm not taking reversals in these readings at this time I might in the um, future but right now if I was to read it the way it came up they're saying they don't want this to end and if I read it this way it's saying that this may be an ending but the world card also is your Saturn your responsibility this is about um, <clears throat> going down the right path it could just be celebrating success here it could be completion as well. Maybe something is being completed by you. You maybe you're doing the work and the completion is here. But in any case, this has to do with confidence and going down that right path. And I feel like whatever this is, that may be done for you. You may want to go down the right path now. Let's have a look. Now what's influencing you? And I'm going to try speeding this up so it's not such a long reading. Let's see here. We have time for a nap. Perhaps you are 
<clears throat> needing to nap because you're not getting a lot of sleep here by the looks of it <clears throat> excuse me I feel like you want to marry this person we have the lovers card twin flame here and marriage coming out for you now this is somebody that I feel you really have in high regard or they have you in high regard okay but you're needing to rest because you're not getting enough rest as it is this is number six as well <clears throat> restoration cooperation and harmony and let's look at this co-create wow and number four so six and four may be interesting here um, to look up we also have a nine here we have a seven here we have a three here and those are the ones I'm seeing at this time and at the bottom of the deck is round and round if you do not take the time to <clears throat> look at this relationship seriously and end out whatever you're meant to be ending out for such behaviors or people you will be left to go around and around and around in a karmic cycle and that may be for a very long time because you are not going down the path you are meant to be going down here and this is a number seven and seven <clears throat> is reflecting and assessing your situation gaining some knowledge about things the truth I'm feeling here it may even be about spirituality let's get a card here for tarot yes a burden needing to put that burden down I feel like you're at the end of your rope when it comes to this because the number 10 is coming up and that is some type of end of a cycle a renewal or a completion here about this round and round I feel like you might be coming to understand yes that with the five this is change this is about conflict or instability this feeling that you're feeling here I feel like your luck is about to change here but you're going to need to be patient with yourself and get on board with the right path and with the five this is about um, well it it's truly about maybe too many choices it could be um, some type of struggle that you're having within yourself this may be play acting that you're pretending and lying to yourself this may even be having to confront yourself or there may be other people that are going to compete for your person okay let us look at oh let's switch those cards because it's supposed to be your mid heaven here next so let's look at your mid heaven your career here wow we have a few let's see what they are oracle cards flowers and your heart's desire so this is all about what I've already been saying about listening to your true heart's desire here. Your angels are supporting you, guiding you, and protecting you as you have dreams become a reality. And whatever dreams you're dreaming can become that true reality here. Working with flowers appears your heart and brings you blessings to others through your life purpose. So perhaps it's time to bring that cup and maybe some flowers <laughs> to your person if you are a masculine or feminine I don't feel it matters you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others now this could be your person who does oracle cards or this could be you take it however it resonates this may be something that you are meant to be doing as well as your person if that is what they are doing let's look at the bottom of the deck protected yes you are safe and supported while you change your career now I can't make that shit up you are meant to do something different than what you are doing now and this may have something to do with a platform let us look at what comes in for tarot yeah you have your ability to manifest or your person does I feel like with you coming together with your person you are going yes you're coming in to learning how to manifest here you are moving forward towards this now it may not be just as yet you may uh, be 
be being patient with uh, going through any toxic situations or walking around or away from people that are toxic to you or even that uh, negative talk within yourself. Let's see what your ancestors want to tell you. Ceremony, invocation, okay? So to me, this is, I'm feeling, um, this is something you're meant to be doing. There's some sort of change, this change in possibly your career here. Breathe, go into the forest, go into nature I'm feeling here, and you may get some answers you're looking for. Ah, you may have to breach the surface here. And what I mean by that <clears throat> is stepping out of that comfort zone. Stop listening to that negativity from others or within yourself here to really go after what your true heart's desire. And that may be coming out of that comfort zone. Yeah, this is really going to make you happy. You're going to see the light. You're going to see what really truly makes you happy here. Yes, that offer. <laughs> I can't make it up here. Now, you've been slow and steady wins the race. And I feel like you have been very diligent and um, patient. You are very practical and reliable and hardworking and productive. I feel like you're going to really move forward to what truly makes you happy here. Now, before we find out your current life, let us look at your fortune, your wealth for Aquarius. What is Aquarius's current North Node here? North Node. Let us see. Oh. Relationship dynamic. Now, this is what you are meant to go forward towards. Now, this is all about this relationship, this love, this fulfillment. You're going to purify whatever beliefs you have about yourself to go through that gateway. Now, this is going to be a whole new... <laughs> whole new journey because we have moving here you may even be moving towards this person perhaps you're at a distance from this one this person you're going to welcome this new and what i mean by that this is maybe a new relationship with this person perhaps it was never a romantic part or you wanted it to be and perhaps there was always somebody in the way of this or you weren't able to come together for some reason. Memories, yes, you have memories of this person. This is somebody you do know. This is somebody from your past. This is somebody you have dreamed about being with. This is somebody you have had fond memories of, and they may even be someone that you truly desired. Um, and you have been snuffing that out for a very long time. You are moving towards this with the chariot here. You are going to move forward towards this. And with the chariot, this is about cancer energy, loyal. This is a journey. This is something about your independence, about you taking on a journey through being independent and independently making your own decision here, I feel. This your feeling is a high stakes journey here. This is something you are ambitious about having a victory in. You're going to want to make this person realize what you mean to them or they mean to you. Let's get one more card. Wow, you are going to follow that intuition with the High Priestess here. You are getting knowledge, I feel, from Spirit here that is guiding you to where you are meant to be. And with the High Priestess, this is your heart. This is what's really in your heart. You may even have some foresight or some enlightenment here. This is all about a divine union. I feel like this is about something that is mm, some type of mystery or you find this person mysterious. That I feel like this almost feels like the lover's card. With the lover's card, this is Gemini. This is that twin flame type of union, attract, major attraction, harmony, and divine love. So, wow, this is beautiful. I really like this for you. So let us look at your current life. Or did we look at the wrong one? We looked at your fortune and wealth. 
and this is what's coming up for your fortune and wealth this relationship dynamic so let us look at your north node now I may have messed that up there but let's look at your north node you're having lots of thoughts about this person. There's no denying it. Number seven. This is about reflecting, assessing, and knowledge. Spirituality. About a privileged lady. <laughs> I can't make it up. This is about your creativity and growth. There may be growth here with when you come forward towards this person or they have grown. Let us get... There's that journey again. I can't make it up. This is a journey about... Um, going forward, you are almost at the end of this, and there may have been an issue when it came to your family. Perhaps your family did not approve of this person. So that may be part of why this has not come to union. Look at that, the Four of Wands, the marriage card once again, family card once again. This is all about um, that coming together, that harmony that happy home life the beauty of it the love is in the air type of card so there's no denying about this love that is here you are coming forward passionately i cannot make this up with the knight of wands okay so this is something you or someone you are very passionate about there's no denying that this is somebody you have a lot of want to fight for, that passion to fight for this person. You have inspired action here. You are charging ahead here when it comes to your current life. This may be happening now, or you are thinking about doing these things. Let's see what spirit has for you. And Aquarius, let's see, what is the advice for Aquarius from spirit? Look at that. You may have a brilliant idea here that is coming in from the divine. Archangel Uriel may be bringing this to you. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. This may be an idea that you get when you come together with this person that may make you a lot of money. Hello from heaven. And maybe this is a gift from spirit. Yeah, you've been patient. You've been patiently waiting for this person. You may be realizing they are not coming to you. You may have to man up and go towards them. Or perhaps you are being asked to go towards them instead of them coming to you. Take it however it resonates for you. But whatever it is, if you have not heard from this person lately or in a long time, it may be up to you to get that contact once again. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. Now they are trying to bring this blessing in for you. And you're needing to recognize that you have a part here as well. Aquarius, whether it is whether you want to go forward or if somebody else is supposed to be coming to you, I feel like you are meant to go towards this person not the other way around. So patience, Archangel Japhael, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So perhaps you're not being patient with yourself enough. So let's see what is on the bottom of the deck. Prosperity, I can't make this up. This person that you're going towards is going to make all your dreams come true in all areas of your life. Okay, Archangel Ariel, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. And she's definitely got material wealth here. So I feel like whoever you're going forward to, this, whatever this is here in your luck, this deceptive energy, whether this is you or not, you will not be welcomed if you do not change this behavior now whether that is your own mindset of not being good enough for somebody here your twin flame or whether this is somebody else in your energy you are meant to walk away from who is bringing in negativity into not coming towards this union there's someone you are meant to go towards and i feel like you already know who this is let's get a couple 
Wow, Wheel of Fortune. I cannot make this up. This is something that is meant for you and this person. They may be getting their Wheel of Fortune, their luck coming in. This may be for you, that you're getting your luck as well. Okay, this is luck unexpected. This is fate. This is cycles that have come forward where there was something that had to be learned here about your own behavior or your intuition not listening to your intuition and always having a reason why you couldn't come to this person i feel like this is all changing now this is going to bring in such wealth for you it's about moving forward towards it though you may be the king of wands okay and you may be somebody that's very good looking or your person is take it however it resonates for you Okay, this is about taking the risk, okay, having that vision and that ambition to respect this person. You have that leadership and authority or they have that leadership and authority. You are going to want to respect this person or they will definitely respect you. I feel like there's a lot of respect for the two of you. Yeah, ten of swords here. This may have been a lot for you to deal with. Perhaps you felt this person has stabbed you in the back or perhaps they feel like you stabbed them. However it is, <clears throat> whether you feel they had the, the bad intentions or whether you had the bad intentions, you've both been through a lot and I feel like this is at an end with this 10. This burden is time, this competition is time to let go of. Whoever is competing with your person here, because this is people on the outside, or this could be your own inner talk, but somebody is competing with your person, whether that is you or them, okay? They want this for your person or for you, okay? They are not there for you. They are there to trick you into going towards what you're meant to have. It's time to put that burden down. It's time to stop whatever competition here is going around and around and around in your life. And you're going to know who that is because it's going to be somebody that you've been with on and off throughout your life. And this is somebody you may even have married, maybe even wanting to marry now. But whoever this is, this Ten of Swords is, Aquarius, okay? I feel like there's somebody that's in your energy right now, not your person you're walking towards, okay? That somebody is in your energy right now that is either competing with you or your person. Whether it's a male or a female, it doesn't matter. If if you are going towards a female, and I'm talking to a male right now, they are competing with your female, okay? With you, okay? And it's just going to end badly for you, okay? Unless you put this burden down and walk away from this person that is in your energy right now. And it may even be up to five people that you need to walk away from. You discern, okay? But you keep going around in this karmic cycle and letting this person come back into your energy time and time again, even though they may have done this Ten of Swords to you. Perhaps they took everything you own, or perhaps they were married to you and wouldn't let you see your children. Take it however it resonates for you. Maybe it was both. Maybe they really let you down. This is Ten Swords. This is deception at its highest level here. Okay, now this is somebody that really does not want you to take the time to think about going towards this person. They want to keep you in this round and round and round and round. Okay, this is somebody that maybe you have, this is a best friend, or this is somebody you hold in high honor, whether it was an ex person or not. This is somebody that does not want you to move forward for your own good. They are being selfish and competing with your person or with you. Take it however that resonates for you, okay? So it is all about looking within that you are good enough and moving towards this person, okay? Now, you may be in the healing aspect of it or you have healed a lot, perhaps. Um, 
but you're not seeing something here when it comes to someone else. Your luck can really change here. And I feel like you're not able to come forward because you have not let somebody go that's in your, in your energy right now. Not your person that you're going towards, okay? This is somebody that lives around you right now. This is somebody that is competing with your person and keeping you in this karmic cycle to go around. This is an outside force, it looks like, and you're needing to take the time to really look at who you want to be with and listening to your intuition, okay? Your fortune here is moving towards either a high priestess or you're remembering who you are. There's memories here, there's a relationship dynamic, and this person may welcome you in for as a new relationship. You may start off as friends again. You may have to say you're sorry if you did something, or they may have to apologize to you. Um, but there's some talking that needs to happen here with that throat chakra. In any case, this looks really good if you follow your heart, you cut out the people you're meant to cut out, you put an ending to whatever it is that you are meant to put an ending to, realize that you're worth and you're good enough, and realize that whatever synchronicities or number repeating or if it's an image of this person or you've been watching, you've been watching this person. so. There's something here that's meant to come together. And it's about cutting out somebody here in order and standing up for yourself and knowing your worth here, doing the work. And if you haven't done it yet, there's something that you need to purify here within yourself in order to cut this, okay? This is a divine love. This is a twin flame union. This can't, this is a high level soulmate. This is a high level union, a divine union. So it's going to be up to you. You may lose this person forever, I feel, if you do not act accordingly to what spirit's telling you you need to do here, Aquarius. So I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> I mean, I really do like this for you because there's so much potential and so much prosperity and so much happiness here if you bring in this offer. This is something you may have already manifested that might be coming in for you, but you're going to have to recognize what is what here when it comes to people that are in and around you right now. It may even be family members here. But there is a privileged lady you are looking at that you are loving and wanting to go on a journey with. Somebody that is very loving, kind. I feel very beautiful within. Maybe even beautiful on the outside as well. And this is somebody, you may feel you're not good enough for this person, but I feel like you are. You just need to do some a little bit of work on some type of behavioral thing going on here. And you may know what that is. So look within yourself to realize something and don't let anyone talk you into anything because they are either competing with you or competing with your person. So there might be some jealousy here. So take the time within to know who you want to co-create with because whatever is going on in your life right now, this is what's meant to happen. This is what's meant to go on here family room is empty right now. I kind of feel like there's needing to have some truth be spoken here about your happiness and what you want for your life. It doesn't matter what your family wants for you. They may want the best for you, but they may not know who this person is. And I feel like you have great memories of this person being a very good person. And somebody around the line here is trying to make them out to be something they are not. And I feel like you know this deep within your heart. So it's a matter of quit lying to yourself or letting others lie to you. You're going to see through something here. I really feel like it's coming if it hasn't already. So I wish you all the luck 
here and um, I love you all. Stay blessed and we will see you all next time. All right, later.